Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, hey, man. So, I wanted to ask you, uh, what were you saying? You said you were gonna put a book together. You were publishing. You were publishing something. Well, yeah. Well, I posted all the information I did. Yeah, I already published, and and uh, and I wrote it on and I published it on volumes now. Yeah. And <laughs> right. Hey, so, so I, I want to ask you a question. Okay, so, like, we talk about the 1970s, right? Uh, and, so, okay, in South Central LA, the 1970s, like, what, what was the difference, you know, in today's world between at that time, back then, that you were there? Like, how LA must was an incredibly different place? Well, in, in, uh, we, we arrived here in 1964. During that time, he was in the right the heart of the civil rights movement, you know, with Martin Luther King and, and the Kennedys and whatever. He just signed the uh, Bill of Rights um, deal, uh, deal, and uh, we got the further action and everything. So it was like the progress for, for black folks coming from down south to the north to the west. So it was, it was, it was like a step on up, you know, being further action, better schools, better housing, you know, better education. And everything, you know, we had a little bit of equal rights there because of that deal between Martin Luther King and uh, John F. Kennedy. Did did you got did you guys used to did you guys used to uh, fight at the park? Did it like when you were growing up there? Like, did people fight at the park a lot? Like, take turns? Yeah, we had we fought at the park. We had we had we had uh, King Elementary School. King, well, by the time we got junior high, then we got into gangs, you know. But uh, elementary school, uh, during that time, at the parks, you know, we went to, we went to parks to swim and play baseball, play sports, and have what have you. And uh, on Sundays, uh, the gangs that were before us, the generation before us, during the Civil Rights Movement in the mid-60s, were the gangs of businessmen and the Swansons, Big Room Boys, and, and several others that were, that were pretty active. But they, you know, like I say, during that, the, that time, was the Civil Rights Movement. And uh, so they were basically overshadowed. Black gangs were overshadowed. And here in Los Angeles, we were just in, in the evolving to get to the crib there, which was the 70s. What, was, there any, was there any beef back then with the Hispanic gangs? I wonder, like, when you, when you look at, like, Florencia or um, some of the different gangs in South Central, it seems that they also had a presence at that time, in, you know, in the 60s in South Central. somebody saying that uh at in the jail in, in county jail uh bloods couldn't even walk the main line until like the, the, the 90s or something no because we we outnumbered uh, our rivals probably 50 to 1 back then because you know as you, you can't forget that we were we were part of the big boom era of the 1950s and the 60s so it was play of us we used to, we used to mob and struggle to the streets to parties and the, the social events by the 50s and 100s. So, we, 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 so, matter of fact, our first rival, uh, as, as a West Side Crip, our first rival, we had arch, our first arch rival with the Inglewood chain gang, which turned into the Inglewood family and generations afterwards. But uh, uh, we, it was always so many of us that, that, that they had to defend themselves by guns. Gunplay came to them defending themselves against us. Right, because you you were like you were basically smashing on them, and so they had to so they had to get some they had to have a gun to to uh, rival that. In themselves, yeah, because we was we was taking their parks, schools, their communities, their neighborhoods, and everything. You know, it's like Hey, you you said the legacy was taking over everything, huh? What what about OGT Rogers? Well, T. Rogers came in the early sixties. Uh, then we were going through the trip on vacation in Turpo. Uh, That's the only time he was here. And uh, they had uh, people like Rosie Greer uh, doing the same thing that uh, that uh, uh, the guy is doing now uh, with different programs ran by the state to stop gang violence. You know, they had long tables and stuff like that. But, you know, doing 
And it, se- it seems like there was nothing that could really combat it because, like, they would take, if somebody got in trouble at school for fighting, they would take them and put them in a different school, and then they would start, they would continue the legacy in that school of what, of what you guys were, of what you guys were doing. It spread like fire pretty much, huh? Right. That's what happened, and because it, it, that's how we did. We, we, we mobbed during the times, you know, from the civil rights movement, you know, and, and we evolved as, as youngsters, like, you know, from the, from the early 50s to the early 60s, you know, because I was like 14 in 1971 when I first started with So we were all youngsters. But we had elders, Raymond right Washington and uh, Stanley Tiffany Williams and a, a, a few more we, were, were, our, were our elders. But we were more active. We were more young. We were in junior high school, you know, and they was about to turn 8, 17, 18, 19 years old. Right. What? What is okay? I, I, I want. I wanted somebody. I want. I wanted to explain. I was trying to explain to somebody. Like, if you say you, you know, this is something that even the gangs in Chicago they they do it too. When you say you bang on somebody, when you ask them where they're from, can you can you like explain what that means? To, you know, from your perception. you last time man i went through a thing where i did a bunch of conspiracy research and i i got like targeted man i got targeted by like basically the government and they were having people follow me everywhere and yeah and and so i started approaching the people and i would tell them my name and and tell them like why it was happening to me and stuff and they kind of went on the defense like damn this dude isn't afraid and I got that. I got that from watching the gangs. How the gangs bang on people. I said, well, if I, if I apply the banging on them to what's happening to me, let me see how what'll happen. And it changed. Like, you know, like you know, you know how you see, you know how a movie you see the mob, like the mafia, like they'll they'll wave at the FBI sometimes, right. and it'll kind of throw the FBI off. Like they'll be like, right. they'll they'll be like, damn, he's supposed to be afraid of me, but he's he's waving at me. like there's a big difference from like the era you you grew up in like you said before there's definitely a generation gap because a lot of the guys now that a lot of the guys is weird man because a lot of these guys tell on each other quickly yes and back then
Right. Right. They even ask you, I think in a lot of jails, they even ask people as soon as they walk in there, they ask them if they're straight or are they gay. Right. Yeah, they, they ask them. Right. right. But the worst, yeah. to, to me, the roughest gang is the police. Because they, they don't have any, no, they just whoop whoever's ass they want to whoop, really. Right. Yeah, I, 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 and, 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 and I'm, I'm most certain that they are one of the biggest games, if not the toughest, you know. Right. And the sport, yes. Did, hey man, did you did you see um? Did you see that movie Colors when it came out? Too many times. What do you think of that? me out though man you there you know what tripped me out again is that dude uh J jamil barnes well yes. they had him on a radio show, when they had him on that radio show talking about taking all that stuff and he was talking about how he he was saying that he had trained Tookie to become a bodybuilder because and Ar and arnold schwarzenegger was gonna hire Tookie to be in a movie or something like that the way he was talking that stuff, it sounded like he was, he sounded like he was tripping, man. The stuff he was saying. Hey, hey, that shirt, that that water's no joke, man. That that water, that water, that water, that water have people get naked all in the streets and stuff like that. <laughs> you, yeah, but but some of those females, like if you like, I seen some females like, not 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 the water, but if they if they smoke dope, if they get high, if they smoke crack. As soon as they hit it, they take all their clothes off. Yeah. Yeah, that that raw, huh? They they I yeah. when, when I was when I was younger, when I was younger, I had a friend and his 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 parents got high and so all the dope boys would be over the house and they would have different girls over there and they would get and if the girls smoked the dope, they would take their clothes off. And so I always thought that was crazy how they have uh, off a little piece of dope they would do all that, you know. I wonder, man, how it happened with, uh, you, you remember Suge Knight? Mm -hmm. I wonder how he was able, when, when they had Death Row, 
they had uh, Bloods and Crips in the studio. I wonder how that was able to go down. Like, So you're saying, so you're saying, so you're basically saying, like, so you're basically saying what happened at, uh, like, as far as the rappers go, that, inst- like, they came together and that didn't happen, or. Well, they used them as the, also as a tool, you know. Right. Tool of, of the genocide, you know, to downgrade our women, to throw them oh. at, you know, together, studio gangsters, and right. all that. Right. Yeah, yeah. So they were they were kind of pretending. Like on one on one angle, they were saying that they didn't want pe- rappers to talk about gun stuff, but in actuality, they really did because it was creating more. Yeah. yeah. Right. It was creating more crime. Yeah, more crime, more crime. Yes, yes, that's what they did. Because back 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 in your era when you were growing up, you would never hear. You would never hear of somebody on an album calling people bitches and stuff and hoes. That wouldn't have happened back in the '60s, would it? No, 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 no. And and so I wonder how, like, how did how do you think that happened, man? The music, like, how did you go? How did they go from like the Temptations and the Four Tops and all that to people sitting up there talking about, you know, bitches ain't shit and stuff? Like, how how do you think it? That was de- that's really that's really demonic because they were taking the old satanic. Yeah, they were taking the old school beats that everybody grew up on, and then they were talking about killing people and, and bitches and shit all over the beat, you know. So right, they right. they mutated they they took they took they took the the good energy and mutated it into like evil. Right. What you you think you know what man there's there's been a lot of rumors um you ever heard now this is kind of taking it out of out of left to the left field man but you ever heard anything about any reptile aliens? Reptile aliens? There there's there's been a lot of rumors man over the years. I mean for a long time that there that there's creatures basically demons. They look like they look like reptile people like snake that they got two arms and two legs like us but instead of being human, they look reptilian, and they live underneath Los Angeles. I'm not making it up, man. They even had a newspaper article back in the 30s where, where people were saying, I mean, it sounds crazy, but I'm just wondering, have you ever heard anything like that? No, I heard about underground cities and things of that nature, you know. Right. I, 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 I've, never heard, I've never heard of that. I just feel uh, sarcastic and it's at the same time. Oh, that. yeah, that, that's the book, uh, I forget, uh, William Cooper. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I remember Profe- right. Professor Griff was talking about that. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, man, the underground cities, you think that's real? a lot of the dope that gets brought in from Mexico, they do it underground. Yes, not everything. The yeah. migration and all of that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when they say people go missing, they might not really be missing. They might be underground. That They might they might want to be missing. They might be underground somewhere in one of them places. You know what I mean? Right. What did he do? Uh, Tupac talked about all of it, didn't he? Before he talked about death so much. He talked about the, uh, what's the guy that ran off I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Machiavelli was a dude who faked his death. Right, right. He talked about it a lot. You think Tupac's still alive or you think he's dead? through a lot of stuff like the, the just the city of Los Angeles even when you were growing up remember that Manson thing that happened the the the, the, the movie star Sharon Tate they supposedly the movie star oh yeah, yeah. Yes, sir, yes, yeah. Uh -huh. I remember uh Birdman Dave you know Birdman Davis or Batman Davis yeah he said he met Manson in jail back in 69 No, 69. 69. Yeah. Uh, he, I said... That murder happened when? 69? Yeah, and he said he met him in jail, so maybe he met him in 1970 or something in the county. Yeah, yeah, but but back but back in like sixty nine and seventy, did you you saw a lot of hippies and stuff out there in L A. They had come through. Right, right. Did people like at the, at that time? Did, at that time, was there a lot more like? I mean, there was probably there might have been more physical fights, but as far as shooting and stuff, was it? You think it didn't really get bad until the eighties? Mm -hmm. When the 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Man, you, you, so, um, what do you think? Like, you're one of the few people out there really talking, though. Like, there's not that many people around anymore who had went through all that, who were, you know, who had spent time with Raymond Washington and knew these people intimately. Like, now it's getting kind of slim, don't you think? Yeah. The History Channel, the History Channel made, uh, I saw somebody took a video camera and went to Compton and, view, and, and they videotaped a, a set in Compton called the Kasia, Kasia Block, Compton Crips. Yeah, Kasia Block. Yeah. yeah, they got famous off of that. They got them all on, uh, they had them up there with you all on the History Channel and stuff. Yeah. Uh, just did that recently, didn't they? Yeah, the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah, that it, you. I, I'm wondering, like, people people are seeing this stuff on the History Channel. and They're seeing it, but they don't have any history of it, really. Like when you talk about Raymond no, Washington, they, they they see a bunch of people on TV with with you know, in 2016 or something, but they don't have they have no idea of who Raymond Washington is or or no. who you are or anything like that. It, it, it's kind of I don't know. It, it, it's a big generation gap. <laughs> and the lack of knowledge too man like a lot of people if you ask a lot of people who they got a lot of people like the rappers and stuff and people involved you know they're banging they don't really it seems like they don't really have any knowledge of their history say is it is it true that i'm um, like the pyru street in compton then that used to be people then, then they used to wear blue then they then they start off being crips at one time well everybody used to say blood at one time too when they were in the civil rights movement so you know right yeah, yeah. Park. We had to see all these events together, you know, and, uh, and, and uh, along the way, 
Yeah. You you know what, man? I was I was listening like when I was growing up I used to listen to a lot of rappers. Like they had a rapper named Mac Ten when I was growing up. And as I got older, I was hearing they were they were they were on the uh the he was saying he was supposed to be from Queen Street and all that stuff. And then but I realized as I got older, the people over there from Queen Street, they were saying that he he's he's not really from there and he just he just on the album saying that, but he ain't really from there. He ain't re- he wasn't really. But he went to college. He was he was really in college though. That's. Yeah, he was in college. <laughs> Right. Why? Why? What? Like a lot of these, it seems it seems like people like you, the real people, you 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 don't you know what I mean? They didn't give you what they were supposed to give you, but a lot of the fake people be getting record deals and movies and shit. And then when you and then when you re, and then when you backtrack their history and you find out and you go back to the area they're from. The people tell you they weren't even like the people will t- tell you they weren't even banging or nothing. They weren't even there. They the only time they were banging they were the only time they were banging is when they were they were banging in somebody's backyard somewhere at a party. Right. You know. What I mean? <laughs> right. I think I I, I I don't want nobody to quote me on this, but I think with Tookie because he was big and he lifted weights and he was strong, he just fit the image profile real good of of of, of the street. Yeah, he. I think it was more with. with Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I was, I'm not as good as you did, because I had you on the speaker. Right. I, I was going to say with Tookie, man, it seems like his, it seems like he, rep, because he was big and strong and lifted weights, it seems like with him it was more of an image, like they, they blew him up because of the image. Washington is the one who did a lot of uh, the majority of the work. Didn't he go to all these different neighborhoods and have to fight people and all this shit to, to put it together? Turbo going way down to the 30s, 
Who? Well, how? Did, the original one. Uh, yeah, he didn't do that. He, you guys were already down. You guys were already in the car. You know, you didn't have to. Yeah. You didn't have to go through. Already, uh, you didn't have to go through all that. You were already. You know, you were already on, on front stage. But uh, mm-hmm. but but I was, but I wonder though, man. He he ended up dying, and it seems like nobody really knows. It seems like yeah. his, his death is. I think the police might have did it myself, but. Right, and then and then on top of that, man, they don't they act like they don't even want to talk about Raymond Washington, like on the history. I mean, they act like they're scared of to bring him up because you can't even they they try to hide. They, they don't even want people to know, to see his birth certificate or nothing, man. They they try to make it no, see, no. see they try to make it seem like he didn't even exist or something like it was all Tookie. Right, and it wasn't it wasn't Tookie at all. Right. Matter of fact, matter of fact, when we first joined, when we first started gripping you on the West Side, Tookie wasn't at the original meeting. Right. So, hey man, what do you what do you think of the Grim Sleeper? Did you see that? Who? The Grim, Grim Sleeper, the one that saw the killer. Yeah. What do you like that kind of that, that that tripped me out when I saw that, and it seemed something something just seemed wrong with that case, man. I don't know what it is, but something just rubbed me like something doesn't sound right. You want to notice? They didn't they didn't recognize you was right in front of their nose. Right. You know, Right. Right. Yeah, that's that's that. That was a trip, man. I saw that on. Uh, they they had a thing. They had a special about that on the. Uh, I think I don't know if it was Discovery Channel or what channel, but they had a big thing about it where it was on TV. I remember I saw a thing. I, I saw a thing on the news from the '80s where they had like army tanks. They, they looked like army tanks. They were knocking down houses, dope houses yeah, and stuff. Battle yeah. Battle yeah. Yeah. They bring the, they bring the dope. They bring the guns. You know, and they bring all of it in. You know, then they keep the jobs. You know, by blowing blowing everything up. You know, and all the time that's why I'm calling it conspiracy or genocide. That's right. All that that that's what I that's what I, you know it's like how how can you you spend all that money on all this stuff but then you can't try to help somebody get a job or something you know like they they spend three billion dollars or three no, I'm sorry they spend three trillion dollars over three trillion way over three trillion it's it's way over three trillion dollars now over there in the Middle East with with all in Afghanistan Iraq and they spent over three trillion dollars over there man. And and, yeah. and, and yeah. you and you got people over here can't even can't even 
can't even work, you know? Yeah, they're starving. Oh, yeah, pe starving. Pe people over here, pe pe there's people over here that can't, starving, can't even, you know, can't even, can't even do nothing, man. And they spent trillions oh. of dollars way over on the other side of the world. I don't understand why, I don't understand that, man. And they don't even, and, and, and now you can't even be successful unless you're gay. I, I swear to God. When you, yes, yes, it's the thing. Like the rapper, yeah, the the, the, the the actors and the rappers and all that stuff, if, mm -hmm. if they want to get a major deal in Hollywood, they got to do some gay stuff yeah. just to get it. Yep. You know, and I think Numerati, Numerati, and all those different sex organizations come from all that. It comes from Caesar, and they say Caesar was a homosexual. If you look at some of the old movies and stuff like that, you can tell by his hair, you know, that he was gay. You know, and that's what 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 runs the system, all system right now. The 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 the, uh, the, the priests, you know, even the priests out they they committing uh, uh, child molestation all across the world. Yeah, and and you know what? When you when I look, I was looking back at old pictures of like the presidents and stuff from like the 1700s and stuff, and they all had on wig, they all had on wigs like women. Yes, yes, and that's what I be trying to tell these young people like showing your ass, showing the spread your ass. You wearing two rings? Yeah, that's homosexuality. Right. You know, you go to the prison and stuff like that. The youth are being so overswamped. They, they even tried to create, they tried to create a homosexual set of the Crips, man. Did you hear about that? Yeah. That's, that's trip. That, that, I went down it. I went down it. They called the, rain, called the Rainbow Crips, man. Did you hear that? Did you hear They're supposed to be in Hollywood. I said, wow. I said, that's not, I said, that, I said, those aren't no damn crips. Those are homosexuals, no, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that, I said, that, that's, that's plagiarism, man. You can't use, you can't use that, you can't use that name to, to you know what I mean? You t I think that's Hollywood. I think I think that's Hollywood who did that because Hollywood tries to. Like, they come out in movies like Boys in the Hood and Men of Society. They make the most. They make the most money off that off the gang banging image. They make them. They make millions yeah. off that man. Oh yes, yes, and that's why I was talking about Donald Barnes. You know, all these books and all these rights. They 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 have to do. They have all their rights to all of this stuff, and all they talks about is what goes on in the ghetto. Exactly, exactly. Well, hey, hey, man, I don't, I don't want to hold you over no longer. We've been on here for, for forty something minutes. Um, I was gonna say, man, what? Why don't we try to work towards something? You know, we we'll do something next month. Okay, that's the most important thing, Jamel. Yeah, it was nice talking to you, and uh, over if comes out okay. Yeah, man, you, you, 
Yeah, you got my number, man. So if anything, you know, something comes up or something, let me know. Okay. Yeah, that sounds cool, man. Yeah, maybe we can do something like that. And maybe, you know, like, I, I, I really got into having, um, you know, gang summits and stuff like that in different states over the, in the past. You know, and I, I like to do something like that, you know, coming here soon. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, that's that definitely sounds good, man. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely have to keep the ball rolling and... You know, we'll talk next month and we'll put some. you know, we'll work on trying to put something together. Sounds good. Let's do that, Sounds good. Talk to you. God bless you. All right. You, all right, man. You too, man. I look forward to talking to you again.